We should be getting underway here momentarily. The racers have gotten their countdown. There we go. We are underway. Now, interestingly, I don't think there's any day specific goals other than bike coaching come to sun here. So time is completely with reference. Um, they could have set the time to 10 a.m. or 11 p.m. to get a day rollover. Just a funny note here, Gamer has chosen the boy sprite. Um, typically we take the girl sprite, uh, mostly because it's uncompressed, so it does technically run faster. Um, I always just took it because I preferred the uh, color blue. It looks like most people did set their day to bug catching. I saw, I saw a Thursday and a Tuesday. Um, let's see what starters we have. Yeah. We have, a, we have a Deli Bird, a Weeping Bell. Okay, at Paradox. And a Farfetched. Okay, there So we've are. got the Paradox special out there. I think saving is probably correct here. Look for something with, say, a Headbutt or a Rock Smash. There's no other, no, you're not going to be running any of these, so. The, uh, take, just straight up taking the Farfetched, it wouldn't be a bad plan. Um... I believe it's probably got the best base speed of the, the three, so you probably most likely to be able to run away from stuff if you did take that far fetched. Both Yoshi and Horse took the Weeping Bell. Mm. Um, that will help actually going towards the 20 Pokemon goal owned goal since they'll be able to get the Leaf Stone to make a victory bell. Yeah, that is also um, worth considering to the extra owned. Uh, everybody's getting into Route 20, Route 29 now. Easton with an interesting runnable. find. Hopefully we see that again, because I want to see someone on Taurus. Yeah, I'd like to see maybe it's one of them scout up. some moves off it real quick. Uh, they're not going to bother. They're going to just go ahead and get right to right to Cherry Grove. Beedrill and Butterfree not on the card, so unfortunately Civil not picking up any information there just yet. Yeah, it looks like we're getting a bit of uh, lag on the game stream. It's a bit choppy. Exactly. He picked the boy. He cursed. He, he cursed his drum. So far, I found a couple of Pokemon that could have been on the card, and they're not. In the form of the star the starter Deli Bird, the Beedrill, now the Sneasel that Easton just found. At the Dunsparce on Horse's side. All this potential information, but... I don't think the, like, um, the Weeping yeah. Bell wasn't such a bad choice. No, the Weeping Bell was actually a really solid choice towards, like I said, towards that 20 Pokemon owned. Exactly. He's still yeah. catching that Hound Hour, picks up the first uh, first point of the game here. Yep. Hound Hour has Teleport, that could be interesting. Make for some interesting strats Let's later see. on. Cherry or Tele, ooh, Espeon. That is an excellent starter. Probably one of the best runnable pokes in Gen 2. Ember, it's actually not bad. See, uh, we've seen a couple grab the poison berry to get started on that seven berry skull. As you can see on the card as well, we're going to see uh, hopefully all the runners picking up as many items as they can. Try and get that berry juice or elixir. We can see in Cold One or Three. Um, it's in an okay spot. It only counts for two bingos, so it's not going to be the end of the world if they don't find it. But now they're also going to be hoping to find the black glasses rather early, rather than having to make their way all the way to uh, Blackthorn. Yeah, they can save the trip to Blackthorn. That would be an immense help. 
everything else seems to be I mean it's all other everything else is easily attainable in just a general uh, cleanup run they will likely have to go to Blackthorn for the call of Black Belt so I guess it is something that can combine with that goal they choose to go that way they're most likely going to have to go to Blackthorn this race um, because oh. that's five bingos worth Gamer just found the uh, Gamer just found the Herc special. Could we see a second Snorlax in two days? Swords dance. The Dunsparce had oh, uh, Dunsparce. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Dunsparce had a uh, mud slap actually. Mud slap, swords dance. Probably not the best combo going around, but. Interesting nonetheless. But take down Snorlax again. And he's going for it. Alright. The Herc special again. This is probably not as good as yesterday's Snorlax, but... It could be alright. I like that we've seen the SBM main from Yoshi. So... Yep, there. I was actually, I was actually just thinking that. I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> that's an accuracy reducing move. That should be marked, shouldn't it? <laughs> so it does give, uh, does give Easton that goal. He just has to make. <laughs> well, he's running the koala, or no, maybe not. That would be an interesting decision if he were to run that koala. And now we see the Taurus. Okay, let's check the moveset on this, uh... Yeah, it looks like Easton's gonna run the Quilava. Man, if that crab, if this had been a later gen, that crab hammer would have been pretty good. The game are going for that water type. Uh, get to start on that eight water types goal. Trying to... Full HP, this polywag. Ooh, the Tauros is not that good. It has vital. Vital well, Tauros is not a move you want to rely on. Yeah. So both Easton and Horse coming across the Snorlax at the same time. Looks like Horse is trying to weaken it. I think Easton might be, might be just locking himself into this Quilava. No, I didn't see um, the Espeon's moveset past that. Ember, do you know what it uh, has? Um, I haven't seen it. I didn't get a good enough look at it. Yeah. Um, that's the thing. There's four, four streams going. Yeah. Gotta try. It's a lot to keep your eye on. <laughs> we did see Yoshi does run away from that polywag, so not opting to take that early water poke. But, oh, that's not a good SBM. Oh. He'll be he'll be really desperate to get a, a good special move early on. He's he's, he's trying he's checking the Tauros out. He's going to be he's disappointed. Not happy with the he's it. Then, yeah. He really doesn't want to run it, which is fair enough. Relying on basically Ember only is he's not good with sixty five base attack. And <laughs> Horse has gone ahead and named his rival Yoshi. <laughs> I didn't see if Yoshi named his rival Horse. No, he, he did. He named his. He named his wrong way. Ah, yeah, no fun. Boo! Severe Ooh, lack of twenty-six play here. The Snorlax has stab takedown. Hmm. Actually, the Snorlax yesterday had stab takedown too. It did. But it also had bone club headbutt and <laughs> it must, kick, yeah. So. A also had a lot more going for it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I would definitely get the SBM to level 8 before I um, completely discarded it, because it does pick up moves at 8 and 13. And 130 base special attack, like, it's so hard to pass that up. Exactly. I would be I would be trying to make that SBM work. So it's like, looks like Easton is going to take this opportunity. Oh, we crit it. He's going to try to catch that polywag. Mm. But at least he knows where it's at. Meanwhile, Yoshi has found himself another water type in Remoraid. Meanwhile, Horst is sweet scent already. 
could be a good opportunity to sweet scent in um, Sprout Tower. Uh, much better spot to be looking for encounters than 46 if you can take an optional route because of the uh, level of, uh, level difference. Um, but then you have to take into account if you're catching a main close to Mikey, you don't get that uh, experience and you likely have to fight uh, one of the trainers in Sprout Tower instead. I was seeing a snow last man from Eastern, it looks like. He's gonna try and make the level 2 work. Meanwhile, the game has already got his snow last level 7. Mikey down. Oh, Civil just found a medic. Time. We have a medic sucks. With Rock Smash. Oh, Ooh, that's a level 15 play. Hello. Ooh, horse running away from running away from a hound hour. Oh, he already has one. Never mind. Yeah, it's it's tough keeping track of all this. Ooh, Dragonite's move set is not good. We still have detect. It's that that's a it's that level fifteen play. That's You're right not, about that. Yeah, I would I would Dragonite. what I would like to see from Yoshi here is to beat Mikey with the SP on the triangle level eight. And then make the Dark Cave Rock Smash play. Absolutely. Picking up that Dragon Eye though does satisfy that Dragon Top Pokemon goal. So the 46 play ends up paying off because no one else will see that. And it also gives away information that there's a Dragon Type Pokemon in the early routes. Um, but not necessarily uh, where, because if you throw up on 46 and they might not think to look there if they go by when the goal was marked. So if we take a look here, Storms, what do you think is going to be a big, a big, what are you predicting to be a big hang up point for these runners? I'm thinking. I'm honestly thinking we're we're gonna see some trouble, probably right around Jinx Electabuzz Magmar. I think uh, it's gonna be interesting to see because we have uh, these guys, uh, some of the newer runners. So it'll be interesting to see if they know all our the TM locations are all twenty different TMs. That's the first one. I also want to see if uh, if they know the uh, the route to the Black Belt with no optional. And I think Berry Juice Elixir is going to be the hard point on this card. Mm. So everybody looks like everybody's starting to make their way up 30 towards 31 in Violet City. Now, have we seen any status? We've, we've seen Flame Wheel for Burn. Have we seen any? Um, no. Our poison moves yet? We haven't really got any fodder Do for uh, status instead or whatever yet. Gamer's actually on Falconer. I just I missed that. Yeah, the Snorlax is actually doing a lot of work. Well, one's truly gone for the uh, Blitz play. <laughs> That is probably the best thing I've seen. Mom is a black belt, right? If you back talk her. <laughs> some sweet scent dark cave play here. Let's see if we see the rock smash dark cave play. I would no, be we don't want to I think I think Yoshi needs to. We are doing it. Take a look at the All level. Right, no, no. Okay, we're not. It's just grinding dark cave. But that's a snubble, and he does not have sand or snubble yet. That's a poison move. Oh. We've already seen the gamer uh, take out Faulkner. It's interesting to see, like, they will need to do Sprout Tower at some point because four non TM damaging moves 
is on the card. So getting a late main isn't actually the worst uh, on this card. Um, I'll be surprised. Like, we'll likely see game... Okay, he's picking up the escape rope, so he's doing Sprout Tower now, um, after Faulkner. Is that a level 5 Snorlax on 31? It is, actually, yeah. Upgraded from 29. Snorlax so time to move over and he's been uh, working out a little bit. Yeah. That we might say uh, yeah. Haiku. Raikou over on a uh, thirty two, yeah, days. that would be it would have definitely been considerable to switch to because yeah, really not Final Throw really Takedown good. is um is decent, but Thunderbolt Raikou is better. And we did see the runners pick up a magnet too. And there's the dragon type. Yeah, yeah gamer, gamer found a dragon type aside from the Dragonite that uh that Yoshi found. You might want to weaken this. Um, I doubt Vital Throw will kill it. Um, because it is not very effective. So he doesn't have that option. But got the yellow ball on it though, so. Second ball. Hey, sometimes minimum catch rate works for some people. Sure no, it doesn't work for me. No. I've seen a few money out. I've seen what, an iron, a calcium, and a HP up so far. No elixir or very juice though. Gamers gamers restream is struggling. Gamer yeah, gonna pick up the old rod though. Rod. That is a sack of XP if I've ever seen one. So it looks like we are seeing the uh Sprat Tower. Snorlax uh, is only move was Foresight. Not... Not a... Not particularly impressive. That's a lot of XP from this one trainer. Blissey, Hoi Hoi. And then a Dugong just for good. An yeah. exploding Dugong! Hey, that's a quick way of uh, ending the fight. Gamer found a Heracross. Uh, that might have... He fished up a Heracross. That might have been something to take mm. more of a look at. It's a water type. So, yeah, Yoshi making his way up Sprout Tower. Gonna go ahead and grab HM5 while he's at it. Yeah. So I think we've got three in Sprout Tower right now, and one person all the way to me and K. It's the benefit of finding a main early. Gamer doing everything he can to avoid that Pokemaniac. Doesn't quite hit the the pathing to get it for a cycle. He's gonna pick up that basement TM. Good start towards the twenty T towards the uh the twenty different TMs goal. Yeah. Uh, it's too owned if you picked up that glue. And he passes up on the uh you need to add to this quick events. That could be some interesting information for uh, for a horse if we don't see a ferret down the road. Yeah. He now has centred information. Yoshi having to take the walk of shame out of the tower since he didn't buy escape ropes. <laughs> Gamer now just about to Azalea. Regression wise, he's a mile ahead. But we, we do see the difference here in the uh, uh, Sprout House skip versus delaying it. It'll obviously be faster for the gamer to come back later and do Sprout Tower um, because he'll, he'll one shot everything 
when he comes back later, but he doesn't have that extra experience level uh, for these coming gyms, like uh, the Bugsy and Whitney gym. Exactly. You have to when you when you skip a when you skip Sprout Tower when you need it, you have to take into consideration how much do you need that early experience. If you're running something like a legendary, you want that extra experience. Mm. Uh, in his Especially case, he got like this. Oh, dynamic punch! <laughs> a Standler with dynamic punch hitting Easton. And as we saw, there was a lot. There was a lot of experience uh, in Sprout Tower. We saw that Blissey and that Hoyo. Um, that he missed out on, and we're seeing level 12 out of Eastern here, still in uh, Violet, whereas the game is level 10 in Slowpoke well, so we're seeing that level difference, and uh, could be... Uh, could make a big difference here. And see it before the Sprout Tower top floor item was an upgrade, so well, a little extra cash, but not much. Mm, what's that? A thousand, thousand fifty something. Selling the max ether, interesting choice. Uh, could be uh, Andy. PP items are always useful. Um, Easton took himself right down to the wire with that uh, that last takedown. But he does have escape ropes to not have to take the walk of shame out of here. Yeah. He's not just of early money on him, so he was able to buy uh, uh, quite a few. I'm seeing a Weeping Bell main from Horse, which is very interesting. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a rather odd choice. Yeah. See, Victory Bell, Victory Bell, I'd consider. I mean, well, if you can get if you can get to Goldenrod with the with the Weeping Bell, you're set. But mm. this this early game could be a struggle. He's having I'm some trouble with this Dodrio. Victory Bell for a while, yeah. So, are we going to see a Dodrio Dex for that? That's tap decent punch. It'd be nice. Dizzy Punch Drill Pack would be a good move. So, Gamer having to rely on Fire Punch to deal with the, the mischievous and Slowpoke well. Wow. Nice little uh, Crobat explosion to finish that uh, last quick off. Neat fight for Horse there. And he's got oh, Dig in his turtle. Yeah, Horse has nice. Dig. Got a sweet scent dig already. Jeez. We could see. We honestly could see a fair bit of a, a fair bit of fly skip if some of the runners don't think that they need to go to uh, to Lugia's room. I mean, I would still, I'd still head there just you know for the TM from Chuck's gym. But mm. I think when you have 20, 20 TMs on the card, you're gonna be relying on Splash, because especially with Hidden Power, biking all the way up to Hidden Power and then back down, um, going back to Burn Tower for the TM, going back to Goldenrod Underground. Yeah. Um, I, th I think unless they know they can finish without Fly at Ecritique, then I would definitely be doing that. But that's just generally how somebody... the Fly skip play works. Could be interesting to see if somebody does take the chance on it. Mm. I, th I think I think we will see it. Um, yesterday we did we we saw a partial fly skip. Uh, if uh, if that's what we're gonna call it. Um. <laughs> sure, it was. <laughs> it was. It was a partial fly skip. It was. It was. It was just delaying fly, delayed fly. We asked him. Uh, I don't know if you heard the the interview afterwards, but I we did. asked him about that. Yeah, not a bad idea. You, know, you have to go that way already. I was uh, like, it was one of the most interesting races I've actually watched. 
Um, because it was it was so close that it could have gone a either way at any point in the uh, in the race. Like, oh, I think G gamer had an interesting opportunity there, learning belly drum. That so would have been a very good pickup. Yeah, so Did he opted not to teach. Had, he opted not to teach it. Ooh, that's, that's a big. That's mistake. interesting. Yeah. Horse is now like one, of the, one of the best moves, especially when you're as bulky as Snorlax and can generally take a hit after a belly drum. The biggest issue with belly drum is you're going to be slower anyway. Lex, you're still going to be slower after uh, after that. So you're going to be half HP and you're still going to be taking hits. It looks like we have Sentra info on a mandatory trainer too, which is useful for that for our cadaver uh, goal. It's, it's on the twins. Now, most most people are going to uh, take that left twin, but left if side, for some reason okay. somebody opts for the right side, they're going to miss that information. Ooh, we have a bill <laughs> optional here for Yoshi. Just got that oh, turn frame. that is huge. That is huge information. And that's unique information too, because yep. no one else is going to be fighting Bill. Well, I'm so going to hold my breath the before saying that one. You yeah, never know. Well, we still have what two more people? Yeah, two more yeah, people still have... to go past there. Still to go past Bill. Okay. But yeah, that's that's not a that's not a likely trainer to hit. No. So that Scyther information could come up big later on, yes. especially since. Especially since if we find a consistent burn, paralyze, or poison move, that bottom row would then be... Basically... Mm, oh, he, that that ac uh, accuracy reducing move yeah. is, uh, is a hard that goal. Could be, that could be tough, yeah. And we've seen a bill skip. Uh, yep, yeah, Easton bill missed skip. it, so... Okay. Easton missed... Easton missed Bill, so he's he would have been the one to benefit the most from that information. Hmm. Yeah, because he already has that reducing move. Reducing move. Yoshi is now finally out of uh, Union Cave. He's joined uh, joined Gamer and Azalea. That's an Entei. Hey, level 8 Entei. That is worth considering. Oh, that's a counter Entei. And that, I would be less optimistic about, say, uh, about this Entei after seeing only counter, but... I'll take a look at it. I'll have to wait until he gets to Azalea to take a good look at it, though. I know, right? Herc, Herc's in like heaven right now, all these Snorlax mains. Hey. <laughs> yeah, uh, to our buddy Hercules bench press, uh, you are welcome for the Snorlax. <laughs> he asked me if the ROM was made right. Hey, man, there's Snorlaxes everywhere. I think that's, I think that's a well-made ROM, right? <laughs> Here we go, the fishing play for the Heracross. I would I would be very happy to see this weeping bell tossed aside. For a mega one Heracross. That Heracross could be Mega Horn, come on. Ooh, nope. That's terrible. That is terrible. The exact opposite of a good Heracross. Most likely, horse is gonna miss this. Uh, miss hiker bill is or flame, flame guy bill, fire breather. You know, bill. <laughs> miss Coffee him guy. too. So, yeah. I know Pokemaniacs. That's about uh, all I know. 
So Gamer is now over in uh over in the Ilex Forest. He's trying to stretch that progression lead. Yeah, Herc, uh, Snorlax is going to be exclusive to Whirl Islands for you. Uh, sorry, but spoiler alert. <laughs> so we've got three people running the Snorlax. And one and running we've got, Weeping Bell. And then we've got Horse on Weeping Bell. <laughs> I, I believe he did see the Snorlax too. He did. He did yeah. see the Snorlax. So we could have had a quad to the last race. T tin tower been... only. There you go. Tin tower Did only. Did he pass smart. up on belly drum too? Did he? I I am I'm fairly sure he passed on belly drum as well. Are we gonna oh. see? Oh no! Yoshi yes. is not gonna miss that. Yoshi took it. Okay, good. So we went one for three on belly drum Snorlax. Yeah. Oh, he did learn it. Okay. So we had two out of three take the belly drum. Better than that on sunny day, it's a bit useless. You mean you don't want your you don't want your Snorlax's fire punch to do more damage? That though. That oh, never mind. That was uh I looked at the wrong side. I saw a weeping bell die to an an arrow blast. <laughs> And I was like, how did Horse just get knocked out by a, by a level 7 Diglett? Wrong side of the screen. Was that a first step slow well encounter? That is <laughs> incredibly uh, bad luck. Pedal dance. This is the YOLO dance on the first bike. I like it. Weeping Bell, not really picking up anything in the way of moves here. Double slap at level 15. That pedal dance, Yellow, not quite going to pay off against the Meganium, though. Jeez, we've almost got Sync on this left side. They're on the same trainer, same fight. Simple going to go ahead and take the, take the save before the 14. Not a bad call since we have seen jump kick from that Typhlosion. It did give it did give uh, gamer some problems. That Typhlosion has zap cannon jump kick. That's it's a scary Typhlosion. Yeah, special. Sure. Lucky, please. It's a scary level 14. So Gamer entering Golden Rod now. We'll see if he grabs the radio card early here. May not want to give away exactly where he's at because he's done nothing that would tell anybody where he's at. He didn't go back for the charcoal after after getting cut, so. Yeah, we'll see if you choose the way of the haircut and radio car even better. Yeah, I think that would be the right play here. Hold off on the radio card. He might want to do bug catching contest now, though. Um, interesting. See what he does here. He tries to grab Kenya, but he's got a full party, so. Well, yeah, Easton and Easton and Civil are almost completely in sync, mm. and they have the same same main and everything. Just quick yeah. reminder, though, this is two races going on at the same time. It is Civil Yoshi versus Horse, and it is Easton versus Gamer. But yeah, Herc brings up a good point. He can double up on the uh, the radio card plus picking up the Sunny Day TM later on. Um, to make that trip more efficient and add to his 20 TM skill. Fair enough, fair enough. Not a bad idea. Mm. 
winning the bug catching contest is going to tell them where he's at. Uh, it's going to tell Easton where he's at, at least, I should say. Now, the thing to keep in mind is that each race has their own card as well, their own copy of this card. So Civil can only see what horse is, uh, horse is marked, and Easton can only see what gamer's marked. Um... Looking at the individual races, we've got gamers way out in front of Easton as far as progression goes. Easton's got a fair bit of information, though. Yeah, and on the top side, uh, Yoshi just has that slight lead. And the horse. But it was... It was... Thanks, Doubles. I don't remember who it was that saw the... Who saw the Scyther information? Was it Easton? No, or was Easton would have been... No. No, I think it was Easton. No, it was Yoshi. Yoshi's, it was Yoshi. It was Yoshi. Yoshi saw it. It was Yoshi Strats. Yeah, Yoshi knows about the Scyther. That's... So that is a nice little advantage over uh, over horse he's got. Yeah. Yeah, we might have to actually start calling battling Bill uh, Yoshi Strats. <laughs> I reckon. What are what what would you consider to be snorm strats? Um, getting a fly and then having no idea what to do. <laughs> so they're now on. They're both on rival too. That Deli Bird had Super Fang. That's actually not not bad for uh for weakening. Mm -hmm. Oh, we do have Fire Punch on the Snorlax for uh for burning Sudowoodo. I believe it's a ten. I think it's a ten percent chance to burn. So uh, sorry, which means Fire Punch? Uh, I think Fire Punch. Is then. Yeah. Yeah. Um. We saw second place in the boat catching contest from Gamer there, so we will have to likely clock reset for another attempt or skip that goal. Oh, gonna hit that standard there. The wiggly wig guy. Kadabra information for Gamer though. Wow, these optionals are clutch. We've seen two optionals. And two pieces of unique information. And the Kadabra has an accuracy reducing move as well. That's double info. So that's actually really good for Gamer. That gives him gets him back in line with Easton for that accuracy reducing. Yeah, that's two goals in one. To anybody in the chat that feels bad that they don't have strats named after them, I don't have a strat named after myself either. Unless finishing last is a strat. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the Paradox. Daily Bed Cash from Easton. Paradox, the only one crazy enough to run a Daily Bed. Yeah, I wouldn't even be crazy enough to run a shuffle. Like, I'd have to, like... I'd have had to hit my head really hard at that point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gamer opting to go back to the center rather than just PC heal. Yeah, interesting choice. Unless he was concerned that he wouldn't be able to, uh, to dodge the trainers in Spinner Hell the last time through... But it's a pretty consistent path through Route 35 to avoid those spinners. I mean, 
even with you know because of purging spinners being the thing when is Syn crystal rando metronome only tournament we're actually starting that uh, on the second Tuesday of next week sometime around uh, f actually right around February 32nd we saw the uh, headbutt teach for Yoshi there it's actually uh, not a bad one because um, that uh, even though it takes away from his 20 TMs, he can go and buy that TM again later from the uh, from the mark. Yeah, Easton's going to teach it as well. Going for some headbutts. Did you see like horse ran into the fight? Yeah, it looks like horse might have run into some some trouble on rival two there. Well, that's the final fight before he gets his victory belt. Uh, that's a silver lining for him there. There we go. He's going to get the bike. <laughs> So horses, horses was able to make the weeping bell survive long enough to get to a victory bell. I'll have to see if the victory bell play ends up paying off in the long run. It reminds me of uh, one time I ran a star you all the way into a golden run. <laughs> it's not a good plan. No, that sounds. That sounds just south of awful, actually. Yeah. It had to have had a really good move set. Yeah, it did. It had. It, I think it, had, it, it was uh, psychic T bowl. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I I think I can get behind that play now. Yeah. It was, especially if there was nothing else. So gamer has. Gamer has cleared Whitney. Did not see what Whitney had, though. Mm, that could be uh, a winner. 16 nine tails. First ball. Might see a goal marked here for Yoshi. Did Easton marked berry juice? Did I didn't see that? Did he? Could that have been the? I'm gonna double check that. I'm gonna double check the other cards. Let's see if that was. Was no, that the hidden item in the vacant? Oh, you know what? That might have been because Gamer didn't check that. Most likely, that is. That's the only item I can think. Where yeah, I might have missed that. that. I must have missed that. As I said before, it is, it is more than a little difficult to keep track of four racers at once. And that's a big goal too, to that see Mark. Huge. Gamer's seeing that and wondering what he missed. Once again, Yoshi and Ooh. Horse don't necessarily know. It was the hidden item before headbutt, by the looks. Because Horse just picked it up. Ah, okay, yeah. That makes sense. So it was a little... A little earlier. A little earlier than we thought. So now both Yoshi and Gamer are probably wondering what they missed. That their opponents have both found the berry juice or elixir. Oh, an HP up with no no item space left. That's Mewtwo. Hello, Mewtwo. There we go. We have a bad catching contest won by Yoshi. Oh, 
Oh, we have the cadaver info by Yoshi too. He's hitting every good optional. <laughs> the too bad that cadaver info is not helpful. The pseudo widow is a ferret. It's uh, still information for um, uh, who was a gamer because he did see mud slap if he was paying attention. Cadaver, true. You are right about that. That is still mud slap information for gamer. The cadaver is not in a good location, though. I believe that was, Ooh. I think that was Dragon's Den, World Islands, and Tin Tower. If I saw that correctly, that is horrendous locations. It'll be interesting to see if the other three save for the Suda Widow because it does have explosion. Oh my gosh. So the cadaver info could still be useful. We see a no save into explosion for Barak. Um, okay, so it's black the one. Okay. Okay, so that's actually not a not a bad location at all. I knew it was it's in like, that general yeah. area. <laughs> yeah. I think you would be mad not to save before pseudo widow with burn paralyzed and poison on the card. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen anyone opt to take the haircut yet. No one really wants to give away their position. Uh, we've seen yeah, the, bug catching, the bug catching contest, but... so. And you're almost guaranteed to need to do that haircut. It's such a free goal. Yeah. Uh, not horses heading for the haircut right now. Horse does have his victory bow now. Yeah. He has gone ahead and evolved that. And he finds a Scyther, mand uh, mandatory information if you're going for the haircut, so. Well, not necessarily, unless you take the... Unless, for some reason, you take the southern entrance. Yeah. I but don't think I've ever seen anyone do that. <laughs> you'd be crazy to take the southern entrance, I think. Yeah. Gamers working on the kimono girls. There we go. And that is a haircut for horse. Yoshi's heading for Whitney right now. I've been proven wrong. One person in chat does take the southern entrance. That is a, there's mandatory Scyther information across the board. One of the Kimono Girls does have a Scyther. Okay. The so the middle play didn't end up paying off. Yeah. So in terms of goals, we're seeing uh, three goals each uh, in the horse versus a Yoshi match. And we're seeing Six goals to two in the Eastern Gamer match, but Eastern uh, Gamer with a significant progression lead. Yeah. So quite an even race there. Uh, bear in mind, chat, we, um, so we have a separate card for the restream. Both of the uh, both of the races have their own cards, so it is a uh, it could be an issue, uh, just a matter of the restreamer seeing it to market as well. Everything's being translated over, so but we are we're all keeping an eye on it as well. So, Emil coin number two. Snorlax now has the Mohawk. So Yoshi going to opt in to get the radio card now. Yeah, he might be uh, skipping the TM later. He might be going for a different set of TMs, although it would have been more optimal to pick up Sunny Day at the same time. But we'll see what he does. 
<laughs> Oops. Oh, and Yoshi going to sell an entrance. <laughs> oh, I... Everybody just prove um, I will not... I'm not going to sleep on the southern entrance anymore. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yoshi kind of uh, Yoshi kind of warped himself ahead there. That is Moltres with Sacred Fire. What was that? That's pretty cool. Is that is that really me? No, no, no that's, not, that's Rival Two, uh, Rival Three. Is that Rival Three? Yeah, that's, that's gonna the first be... book of Rival Three. Actually, I was about to say it's going to be really bad for horses, but horses going to have a different rival. I think because I don't think I don't think Gamer took the weeping bell. I think it was uh, I think it was. I think we saw two horse and, and two weeping bell. Yeah, I think it was horse and Easton took the weeping bell. And I think Yoshi took the weeping bell. I can't remember. Yoshi might have skipped the flower girl. Again, we have another bike to this win. He's checking the game corner rather early for pokes. <laughs> There's Scyther a Scyther in the, in the game, game corner. corner. Wow, well, yeah, Scyther they're is gonna, everywhere. They're going to have to hope that uh, they don't need that one. I, I, I would highly doubt they would need to save the coins for that. This is a very easy Yoshi option is, to get that goal. Yoshi yeah, is double checking the hidden item. Oh, he doesn't know where it is. There it is. No. It's a bear. And Yoshi went back to double check for the the berry juice elixir, thinking that might have been what he missed, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, you could say that going for Scyther would be quite a gamble. <laughs> <laughs> Yoshi has gone back and gotten the squirt bottle. Seven out of eight, too much water. <laughs> hey, I read what chat posted. Boo dolls. Boo that man. Did you say... Were you saying boo or boo words? <laughs> oh gosh. I'm done. I'm done. I was saying... <laughs> I can't anymore. I was saying boo words. <laughs> Oh gosh! Oh my gosh! Right. We've gone, we've gone mad. Yeah, we have. <laughs> it's All right. trying to track this. Trying to track this race has driven us completely insane. Oh, Yoshi with a movement error. Hey, we're hitting all five breathers today. <laughs> oh, Yoshi. was that double five breather? We've got mirror on the left side. Oh my gosh! We hit him. <laughs> if... I was about to say that Yoshi's strats have just evolved to hit every fire breather. But then, then Easton decided he wanted to follow suit. Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh. So what do we still need info on poke wise? We've got uh, Tangle, Licky Tongue, Fable, Wigglytuff, Sand Slash, Arbok. I think we saw a Sandshrew. So we did we see have a Sandshrew. Information. We don't um, have that's... info on Jinx, Electabuzz, Magmar. Yeah. Yeah. So you might be right with that prediction. Yeah. That might be, uh... That could be a problem. That might be a problem. Sure. Horse has now finally cleared Whitney, so they are all past the third gym now. I think Yoshi's going for that to defeat 5-5 five, five Reader's goal that's uh, going to be in the next iteration of the card, Kappa. <laughs> Easton, Easton was trying to catch a, a, a Pella Swine. I didn't see what it had. Uh, you might just be going for the po 20 Pokemon owned, but you can ostensibly wait till later. So we have three people, three, po three players cleared the... Uh... Oh, the Pupitar. Pupitar and Mudslap. Uh -huh. Oh, we still have two saves, that's good. Uh, but then again, Easton already has the goal marked, so... Of all the people to find that... Easton and Yoshi both now on on the pseudo-woodo. 
That's a drill pack fart. Uh... <laughs> Boy, if only get to buy the pseudo water was a thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they would both have the gold mark by now. I'm just waiting for it to boom. Come on. There's the burn for there's the burn for Easton. Yeah. And for and for Yoshi as well. Everybody getting the burn. First try. Was that first try for everyone? That's yeah. That's first try for everyone. Really lucky. Is he... And no boom either. Yeah, they didn't get boomed on. That's that's a crazier thing. You can run the third. It has to. We have Magmar information for Easton. That could be huge. He's got and the. That is a full giveaway to oh, Gamer. Yeah. Where that is too. Oh, Inst absolutely! Right, right after, after marking the burning. Well. Oh man! Like I'd have very I'd considerable there now. to run away. Very, very considerable. That's rough. That's a lot. That is a huge piece of information you just gave away to to Gamer on that one. I don't think Yoshi skipped the bike. I think he's just opting not to use it. Uh, we did see him definitely pick it up. Easton does still have the accuracy reducing move information over Gamer as far as that goes. He does. I don't think. Did Gamer hit the Kadabra? Um. I think he he dexed it, but he didn't he um okay because the Katabra was on a trainer. The earliest access he's gonna have to that is Whirl Islands and then Blackthorn. Yeah, it should still have it in Blackthorn. What are they? It shouldn't have unlined it then. So um... Yoshi uh, Yoshi picking up his sight through information. Did. Did Yoshi start? Yoshi is, I get. Oh yeah, true. Because Yoshi would have been a little bit ahead since Easton picked up the, uh, the extra encounter in the grass. Is Sunflora on the card? <laughs> Horse now getting to uh, the, for Pseudo Widow as well. Mm -hmm. He has he has sludge to try to poison it. That's gonna kill. I don't know if he's. I, yeah, he That's did save that. beforehand, so he has to get first try. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to hit first it a second try, time. No boom. I think this <laughs> this might be the most diverged we've seen Easton and Yoshi this entire time. Yeah. So Gamer has cleared Morty. And a boon. <laughs> That's oh, the man. boon. That we were waiting Horse for. Is having some, Horse having some trouble with this goal here. Yeah. And with the position that that goal is in, you do not want to skip that. Mm, definitely not. It's in a... Considering well, actually, free call one. Uh, but that's really the only free goal. For Easton, he doesn't want to skip for uh, what well, he didn't, but uh, Horse doesn't really have any accuracy reducing move information, so really it's only counting towards one bingo that he can do right now. But definitely doesn't want to skip it. He got the poison. There we go. There we go. Okay. And no boom. Very nice. He's going to get the catch on it. So the only person that didn't get the catch on it was Gamer. Hit an item in uh, 
Ecruteek was a friend ball. <laughs> Get in the ball, friend. Gamer and Olivine now. Looks like he is gonna go ahead and most likely head towards uh head towards Cyanwood City and pick up his uh his fly HM. Check Shucky and uh grab the TM down there while he's at it. I'm interested to see what uh, Horse's rival ends up having. Maybe. So I don't know if him and Gamer took the same starter, because that Moltres could spell disaster for Horse if if they if Gamer in fact took the Weeping Bell. I think Gamer took the Farfetch though. Yeah, looks like we're back synced again, basically. Again, Yoshi took a wipe to rival. Yeah, we are. Ultras. Wind up on rival fights. Oh, no, never mind. We've got different rival fights everywhere. Yep. <laughs> Thunder on a magic card. <laughs> it's the least threatening thunder ever. We saw a baby Electabuzz there. So if you wanted to level up to 30, you had the <laughs> option. Catching this haunter. I guess he'd just be going for the 20 end at this point. Yeah. Gator, eggs, what was the last one? Um, Polyvac? I don't know. No, no it's not Polyvac. No. I, I struggle with the cries, honestly. Yeah, same. I, I, I know Gator and Nick, you. <sighs> so, I'm not sure what the speaking is. I don't think any of the it's not really uh, information on anything. There's maybe like five or six cries I know off the top of my head. Say like wiggly, wiggly It could have been. It could have been. So that actually could be wiggle tough information. Oh. Huh. Could be actually. I reckon yeah, you're it's... right. I reckon you're right. They could fire no burn. Now, if they um, now the real question is, if they pick up on the fact that that could be wiggly tough, that opens up having to go to tin, uh, tin tower. Yeah, that's a lot of optional fights. Yeah, for that one goal, and it's not even in a, it's not in a great spot. I mean, it's one, it would make one guaranteed bingo if you're right. Hmm. Could be the difference in the end, though. They it might be a forced. They don't get any yeah. information. We still don't have. I don't know what else? Is that the uh, Tangle and Lickitung? Is the other one we don't have information on? So is this yeah. completable yet? Hmm. I think it, it's very close. Yes, it is. Well, this is so. This card is completable. Uh, from the information we've seen, easily. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, seven possible bingos. Across the four races, though, it will differ slightly uh, because they don't uh, all see each other's. Markings. Yeah, the that's card. the thing. To, that's the thing to keep in mind with this is that the card that you are seeing on your screen is not the card that the runners are seeing. Civil and Yoshi, Civil Yoshi and Horse can see their card 
Easton and Gamer can see theirs, and then everything's being compiled for the restream card. So that way, it avoids confusion between the, uh, the four runners, since it's two separate races. Gamer's about half is is halfway through Chuck's gym. I haven't seen much in the way of unique information for him. There's another Blastoise. Somebody was commenting about seeing Blastoises earlier on. So there you go. You've got another Blastoise. So we should see uh, Game of start to mark a lot of goals after uh, after he finishes with the gym. Yeah, uh, he'll go fly and he'll start his cleanup phase. Really, not not too bad of a fly time. Slightly over an hour, one hundred six ish. Uh, isn't the worst, especially for someone like a Snorlax that you're going to get outspent by everything. By the way, another. Another fun shout out to Paradox. Uh, the Snorlax's 29 move was present. <laughs> I didn't see what the Shucky was. It has the. the uh, I'm not sure if it was checked. Maybe. It has, he, looked, he may not have looked at it. Yeah, it has the Oddish Sprite in the uh, in the menu. Yeah. But there's a lot of Pokemon with that Sprite. There are. So we can we can assert that it is definitely a grass type. Easton now making his way towards Olivarn. Yoshi went back and stopped at the Pokemon Center. So Chuck is down. going to give Gamer access to fly and a lot of extra goals. There's going to be a lot of purple fill in this card any moment now. So we've got to bet that Meganium is the uh, is the Shucky. So Magikarp information, do you know who has that info? Because that could be relevant for um, Yoshi and Gamer who didn't pick up that Berry Juice Elixir. Um, I'm pretty sure it's, I'm pretty sure the Magikarp was mandatory. Yeah. Gamer went back to Bill. The Eevee is an Alakazam. That would have been, wouldn't have been too bad, actually. It's a shame you get that so late. Not a great mix set. Nah. Gamer now heading down, heading down for the haircut. Now Gamer actually went from Bill's house, or, yeah, for, went from Bill to the basement. So I can understand why he took the bottom path there. I still will not defend the bottom path. <laughs> Don't at me. Gamer's grabbing the coin case just in case. He's gonna see. He'll discover the same thing Yoshi discovered that Scyther is, in fact, a game corner prize. Now, everybody's done the haircut now. Oh, is he gonna. He's buying coins immediately. He's just going to grab whatever the 100 is towards that 20 Pokemon owned. Yep, yep. Sees the Scyther in there. He's actually... It looks like he's going to buy the Scyther. He doesn't have enough money right now. He needs to go sell some items. 
He never dexed the Scyther, though. He has information for it. Like, it was a mandatory trainer. It was one of the, uh... One of the Kimono girls had a Scyther. Hmm. I think, I think his, uh... I think his is... is boy, it's gonna be easier to just buy it than to... Search for it. Doesn't look like he's gonna be able to afford it right now. He's gonna go pick up his radio card while he's at it. We'll see if he picks up the TM here as well. Oh, let's see if he wins the lottery. Nope, no matches. I uh, he can't pick up the the TM just yet. He didn't go up to Lake of Rage. If that's what you're talking about, pick up TM eleven. Uh, sorry, the T uh, Sunny Day TM in Radio Tower. Yeah, I was that, that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he hasn't gone to Lake of Rage yet. Oh, true. So he's gonna pick up his charcoal. Or no, he's not picking up his charcoal. He's I'm curious, did we miss him checking information? I think he's getting oh, he's... the TM. He's getting the TM, you're right, you're right. I always forget this TM's here, because I always think about like the King's Rock. It's always when I'm when I'm trying to we have Tangela information for horse. Wee -wee -wee. Why are we is this wild? Can't... Yep, that's wild. Neat. Well, there we go. Now we have seen that. So we have information on... Technically information on everything but Clefable and Wigglytuff, but we can kind of discern that the Wiggly... that Suicune is Wigglytuff. Uh... And we do have confirmation, uh, Shucky is a vile plume. It's a little less fun than Meganium. Easton is up to 20 Pokemon owned, though. He's been, uh, he's been busy. That's a goal that I think the game, uh, game is gonna have, um, Fable more work to do on. He hasn't picked up a whole lot. No, he's pretty much rushed through. Yeah. He's working on it now, though, it looks like. He's picking up this dry coup. Gamer picking up his Roar TM while he's at it. The other racers are now heading for... either all heading for Chuck's Gym or at Chuck's Gym. While well, Gamer is now heading towards Mahogany Town and the Lake of Rage. Opting to take the outside route. Finds a slight finds a higher level Dragon Knight than was found earlier. checking the moves of his Pokemon, checking for that accuracy reducing move. This should make for some fun uh, post-race interviews. We have we have we've got to talk to Yoshi about confirmed Yoshi strats. Yeah.
Gamer's making his way up to the Lake of Rage right now. We'll, we'll finally be able to see what the shiny is. He's going to grab... Should grab TM10 while he's up there. He's... Oh, he's actually heading straight for... Straight for the shiny. So he's going to end up spawning all those other... All the uh, extra... Like the extra trainers on that path to uh, TM10. Uh, uh, shiny's a Persian. It hardly even looks shiny. Shiny Persian spray is not not that impressive. A lot of the sprites are uh, pretty uh, weak, really. Like there aren't many uh, that actually look much better. Okay, so we have one more now with fly. So the f bottom race, uh, both into cleanup mode. And uh, I would like to, I'd like to thank all the racers for proving me wrong on my p prediction of a possible fly skip. <laughs> yes, I'm glad that didn't happen. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, so now gamer's gonna head over to the left side path, and he's gonna find it's a little more cluttered than it would have been if he had a. Uh, if he had gone there first. Who knows? He could get information on Clefable Wigglytuff and avoid the possibility of Tin Tower. I'm actually not sure. I think they spawn after talking to Lance, but... I think they do. It's not a good location at all, Sentry. That's not good. Get the Scyther info. He's Mount Mortar and Tin Tower. They, unless they feel like digging through Mount Mortar, they might want to just buy the Scyther. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if Easton has the game Easton, corner yet. Yeah, Easton, Easton has not gone for the coin case yet, so. Yeah, they, the. Yeah, gamer strats. Spawn all Lake of Rage trainers before going for TM. So you can throw in the water there again. Two races in a row. <laughs> That's two pokes stone, but here he has 20, so. That's a water poke, so two water yeah. pokes. That's what we got. Gamer picking up his seventh different berry. He's gonna check the rocket underground area. Uh, I think we'll probably see. Got the TM. TM for sure. Uh, and we might see some electrons checked. And looks like he'll check the TMs too. He still doesn't have the very gist to look. No, no electrodes, so just the TM. Now, does he have dig or teleport or escape ropes? I believe he does. So I was thinking he might he might get those on the way back. He might. Oh, he's still also checking around. Looks like hoping to find hoping to find the black glasses early, or the berry juice and elixir while he's at it. Yeah. Horst is going to pick up his mystic water. Yoshi has just picked up his. Easton, meanwhile, heading for the TMs. Not sure why he's grabbing. Like he, he really doesn't need any more items other than like black glasses, which he can pick up guaranteed. He has his uh, very useful so there's not really a whole lot of point in picking up items anymore. 
Easton found our third our third amulet coin of the ROM. Yeah. Yep, he's going to check the electrodes. Got to hit Monchan for the first one. So he did walk out. Yeah. Very slow way of doing it. So I believe he does have ropes. So it would have been a lot faster for him to do these on the way and then work out at the end, but. Bell Sprout for the second electrode. And we now have a Scyther yep. from Yoshi. Yoshi is. Yoshi bought the Scyther and the Haunter. The accuracy of your DC move. Mm -hmm. Not only Haunter again. either. Of course, double checking his water counts. He's up to four. He's halfway to the goal. Third electrode was an Ivysaur, it looks like. Yes, I think it was. I think that's a, I think that's the third electrode there, yeah. And it's very obviously an Ivysaur. Oh no, it was a it was a trap Pokemon. Ah, uh, trap. I realized when I said that, it's like, it's, that might get misconstrued. Still seeing Easton check all these hidden items for, I'm not sure what reason. I don't know, it's, unless he, unless Easton doesn't know his way around Dark Cave well enough to get the black glasses. We saw, like, we saw, uh, um, three out of four grab Flash, so... Yeah, true. Sure. Confident enough to go through with Flash. The problem could be if he doesn't know, if he doesn't know where exactly in Dark Cave it is. Though Flash doesn't necessarily help him find that. Hmm. I grab the TM. Now is that a duplicate TM? I can't remember. Thirty-six. I don't think I've seen 36 yet. Could very well have missed it. Gamers about to start fighting Price here. Yeah, that'll give him the uh, ability to use Whirlpool, so we might see uh, Catch Break in the Gears Room shortly uh, after this. Easton going to pick up the Alakazam. Just taking a quick look at the cards here. Easton... Easton just needs to pick up his Mystic Water. He'll have the first bingo out of anybody here today. So in terms of bingo progression, um, Easton has twelve. Um, so he's he's at, uh, three three more than the next highest. Uh, horse has horse has ten. Does he? Yeah, horse has ten goals. Yeah. Easton at twelve, horse at ten, Yoshi at nine, horse, and Gamer think, at eight. Horse has. Eight from what I can see. According to according to the actual count on the bingo page, he's got eleven now because he's picked up his uh, final berry. Oh, uh, the the restream card might not be fully up to date. I gotta take a look here. Okay. Yep. Now, now the bingo. Now the bingo. The restream card is up to date. Right, there yeah. we go. 
Meanwhile, we've got Horse and Ice Path heading for heading for Blackthorn. Must he's probably heading that way. Pick up the TM and the Black Glasses. Gamer has just finished Price. Yeah, no. That said, I want while we're while we have this moment, I'm gonna give a shout out to Nereistra for for taking on the task of translating both of these cards over to the restream card, as well as you know helping us put this thing together. So definitely a big shout out to Nereistra for that. I'd have probably missed more than my fair share of stuff at this point. Yeah, for sure. There's a lot to keep track of with four. And like when when you're in a race, having having uh, four people on one card makes it that much harder to just track everything that you have, your opponent has. Absolutely. What do you want to be doing to finish. Still haven't seen a bingo yet. Easton is the closest. He's, he's one goal off on three. Easton's actually heading for his first bingo right now. Hmm. Gamer taking the Bellsprout trade. I didn't see what the uh, the received Pokemon is. He might just be That's going to That's a Wigglytuff on Easton's screen. Oh. That is huge. Only person to get the encounter in White Mystic Water picks up the uh, Wigglytuff. Oh, the Bellsprout trade is another water type. He might, he might want to not pick up this Mystic Water here. Yeah, that might be a that might be a wise play to like just keep the oh his box is full. That actually could serve him really well here. Oh no! Don't he's, do it! Don't do it! Go change the box first. Ah, if he had changed his box first, that would have. Given enough time to where it could have misled people into thinking it wasn't in, in Cherry Grove. Yep. But now Gamer's going to see that, and he's probably going to be able to put two and two together on that. Yeah, I, I would have thought. That is our first bingo. And uh, Easton's getting very close. Yeah, with that Club Fable catch, that's huge for Easton. Black Glasses, uh, the Gears Dark. Room, and Tangela, which he doesn't have information on, sadly. But if you could pick up those three, he would be done. Actually, he could just do it with... Um... Black Belt, Lugia's Room, Black, Black Glasses. Belt, yeah, Black Belt, Lugia's Room, Black Glasses. That would do it for Easton. Would it? Yeah. Call it one, would. row five, yeah. row four. Yeah. He could also do eight water types over Black Belt. Uh, no, could he? No. No, he would still need... He would still yeah. need... Uh... One more. Yeah. So he's three goals away. He is heading for uh, he is heading for Blackthorn now. Mm -hmm. So that'll that'll give him black glasses and black belt if he so chooses. Yeah. <laughs> Eastern Reigns and Magmar and Ice Path, we, and he's the only one that already has that goal. That's been that has been the story of Easton's run so far. Is he find he has found information on different things and then keeps finding that information that nobody else has found. Yeah, he's found accuracy reducing moves. He's found the magmar information. There was something else too. I don't, I don't remember what it was. There was something else. I thought there was something else. He still scyther twice. Did he? he did scyther twice? I think um, optionals. Because Yoshi found the scyther first, though. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. gamer's got an egg hatching. It's a houndoom. Wonder where, uh, let's see where that puts Gamer towards uh, 20 Pokemon caught. I 
How do is teleport? Yeah, we're getting a little crossed up an ice path here. Horse is heading into Dark Cave to grab the uh, black glasses. So it ended, up, it ended up not coming down to uh, 20 different TMs with the way uh, Easton's route looks. But that that Jinx Magmar Electabuzz kind of kind of came up uh, came in handy. I'm gonna go back to Horse and Civil's card. Take a look here. Apparently, the Wuka had Santa. Here we go. It's Mark now. There we go. He has Mark. He's pushing the boulder into the into the slot there. I'm a little perplexed why he he's completing this puzzle. Horse has his black glasses now. I'm honestly perplexed that gamer is finishing oh, this puzzle. Uh, yeah. Oh, he flubbed it. He's got to adjust it. Yeah, gamer must not know his way through ice path. Yep. Oh, no. That's not the way to get to the team. <laughs> Yep, so there you go. Me, yeah. You're a tile off, my friend. Oh, that's not the way to get to the ladder. No, no. <laughs> seeing some, seeing some ice path struggles interesting, here. Interesting, interesting ice path movement from everyone. <laughs> so horse has called his black belt. He's got his black glasses. Easton is now entering Blackthorn City. He's picking up the experience share. Did he catch a Sandshrew? <gasps> Gamer's got wiggly a wiggly, wiggly. wiggly woo. Chance into wiggly woo. New old last part. Oh, he That's might be good. evolving the. And there's a very little indication of where that would be. Because he hasn't marked anything uh, progression wise. Lately at all. So that's uh that's a good one. I'm curious what, what horse is gonna do with that uh that experience chair. There's another water type for uh for gamer. Yeah. And gives him a second to think about it. No, he ran away still. I think he's set on not doing that goal. Yeah. Oh, good. Thank you. So I'm gonna take another look here at Horse and uh and Civil's card. It's 15 to 10 as far as goals go. Horse, if Horse can find a Pokemon with four TM non-damaging moves, he's gonna have two bingos with just needing yeah. 20 different TMs to clear another one. But other than that, it's catch a Pokemon in Lugia's room. Clefable Wigglytuff also gives him two bingos. It does, but he that's if he's because he hasn't seen a Clefable or, or a Wigglytuff, and he... Every, everyone has the sweet green information if they know the cry. Yeah, exactly, that's I the doubt. thing, if they know the cry. Yeah. Which we didn't. Yeah, you and I were trying to trying to figure it out. We had Chad help us with that one. Yeah. So, there's, there's a chance he may not know that cry. Of course, he's going to pick up his charcoal here. Here we go, that's our first optional, uh, I think, on the way down a black belt. There we go, Easton is now at the black belt. Easton has to... Easton's got to be feeling pretty pumped, he knows he's close. Hmm. So that's just black losses like Gizra for him left after this. 
trying to see. Gamer's, Gamer's early rush might not have paid off for him here. Easton picked up a lot of information and just happened to kind of sack his way into a lot of a lot of interesting things. Like the Jinx Magmar. I'm surprised we haven't seen um, Gamer go for that. Uh, although it really isn't in a good spot for the goals he needs right now. The Jinx Magma, like, he had very good information on where that would be, because he uh, picked it up straight after the Sudowoodo. Exactly, yeah. And I believe Gamer also saw that Cadabrate with uh, Mud Slap, so he does have information on the accuracy reducing move. Um, and he is in Blackthorn now if he wants to go for it. I'm, uh, I'm not sure if he has Dexter, though. So Easton chats with his black belt friend. Yeah. Deletes the number so we don't get a who's calling me moment. Yep. Both Gamer and black Easton now in Dark Cave. I'm seeing a flash teach. Now Gamer does not have flash. He did skip the Sprout Tower. But it looks like Gamer does know his way around. I'm going to jump back up to the top race here. Top race is rather close. Let's see. Yoshi's going to call his... gets his black belt call in. Looks like. We've got a big goal differential in that race, though. It's uh, 16 it to 10. Um, Yoshi just uh, falling behind a little bit. I don't think, honestly, I don't think Yoshi has much of yeah. much of anything in the way of information. It looks like he's uh, opening up a map. Easton <laughs> says he's done. Where is he? Uh, row four, I see row five, one, call. two, three. I see, I see four, five. No, that's five. He's done. Five. He's done. Yeah, that's it. I, yeah. We, we were wrong about catching Pokemon in Lugia's room. That's it. Yeah. TLBR. So Easton, Easton wins the match between him and Gamer. We do still have Civil and Horse going. Yeah, very so good race out of Easton. There's a good, very good cleanup at the end there, and he managed to pick up a lot of gold along the way um, on his way to fly. So we still have Civil versus Horse to wrap up here. Take a look here. We'll jump over to that card. And jump over to that card. So Civil's heading for the black glasses. Just trying to find yeah. the right path up to the guy. This is where Flash would have saved a lot of time. Just needs to teach it. Does that's actually a really good question. Does pain split count as a damaging move? Uh, no. No, it does not. Um, we need to message him and tell him that. No. Sorry about my keyboard, guys. Yeah, that's a 5-0. Yeah, that is a 5-0. Oh, man. It's pretty brutal. That was a rough match. That's uh, often how blitzing can go, though. You just get to fly, and as I said earlier, have no idea what to do because you have no information. Which is basically what's happened to Gamer. He just has, doesn't have enough information to finish this card off.
You will also need a clock reset for the bug catching contest yeah. at some stage. So Just, Yoshi is. They wouldn't be giving me. That was weird. You will also that was weird. need a clock reset for the bug catching contest <laughs> at some stage. Oh my goodness. So Just, Yoshi is. They wouldn't be giving me. What is that? We can, um, do we want to, are we getting feedback from something? Keep your feedback, I don't know. Anyway, so, take another look at this, um. I was gonna say I don't know. Do we want to? Do we want to pull uh, Easton in here and talk? Easton and Gamer in here and talk to them about this, or while we um, all the other two keep going, or do we want to? I think Gamer is still going. Um, we can bring Easton in uh, all right. for for a chat. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to message him, I I don't want to yep. mute my mic or annoy people with my keys again. <laughs> So gamer did uh, Yoshi did pick up his uh, seven berries and his black glasses. So he's he's now just one goal away from a one goal away from a bingo there from having TLBR. Horses just finished. Uh, horses just finished uh, prices, Jim. Yoshi getting a quick count of his TMs. He's well short of 20 at the moment. Looks like Horse is heading for, uh, heading for Lugia's room now. It's going to give Horse another bingo. Hello. Hey. Congratulations. There he is, winner, winner, Thank chicken you. dinner. How you doing, man? I'm okay. I thought I did had some execution errors, but I'm glad that I finished with the sub 140. It was a really solid run. It really was. Other than me not knowing where Black Glasses was. <laughs> I think or the, or the amount of fighting type moves that were used against me. But yeah, it was, was pretty good, actually. So, so, actually, it's funny. Like, I actually don't have any notes written down for you. Like, I, I've, been, I've been trying to keep notes. And uh, with looking at four different streams, my my eyes have kind of like gone completely insane trying to figure this out yeah i don't think i'd be able to do that so props to you man uh actually by the way real quick uh civil yoshi going with paradox strats he's over in uh tojo falls looking for pokemon <laughs> like, Speaking shout out to our boy paradoxical remedy he gets deli bird and he gets uh tojo falls strats <laughs> Did you see me name my Deli Bird Paradox, by the way? We did. We yeah, did. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling early on when you see that um, Gamer had a progression lead over you, but you were ahead on the on goals? Well, I, I wasn't extremely worried, even though I, for seeing him um, mark the Dragon-type goal, I was almost certain it was the route after Violet, because he typically doesn't repel there. Um, yeah. And that meant he didn't do Sprout Tower, which meant he wasn't going to be getting the four non-TM goals without and without luck. So yeah. it, it was just overall better for me to level the Snorlax because otherwise I I would have outsped literally nothing, even though I didn't outspeed a lot. And I needed the power to... Um, I mean, there was a lot of bulky things early too, so I think that was the right decision on my part. Yeah, I think uh, Gamer... Uh, exactly what you said. He, um, by skipping Sprout Tower, he did have... Uh, some struggles level wise for the um, Azalea portion. <clears throat> Real quick to jump in, Horse just found a Magmar um, in uh, I forget where he's at. Ice I Pass? Where he's at. No, I found two nice different path. locations for it. Oh, that was the thing I wanted to talk to you about was you had 
the best luck in finding random things and then finding them again later <laughs> on. Like you had you have, you were the first to find an accuracy reducing move. Oh, he's in Mount. I think he's in Mount. Uh, yeah, and then oh, I so immediately Island, found the pupitar yeah. with mud slap. Yeah, right. and then um, finding the jinx and the magmar, like, or the finding the mag, the multiple magmars that you found, was the other thing. It's it yeah, was, that was that, that was the thing that we noted. You just found you found stuff before everybody else, and you found it multiple times before anybody else. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually, but. I... I would say that there is a little bit of RNG in there, but I do try and check slots on some routes that I typically do well on. Yeah, we... Uh, it's hard to keep track. We you sweet setting um, 38, was it? Uh, is that the route above uh, Olivine? Olivine, yeah. Yeah, I, I typically take two or three encounter slots there because I've been lucky on it before. Yeah, I, it was funny because um, I think you were sweet setting and you, you hit... Uh, Magic Cup. Yeah, uh, I hit Magic and then, Cup and it teleported. And then left, I think. And then we saw someone later um, just uh, biking through. And what did they hit? Uh, they hit something. I, I hit the Magic Cup on that route as well as an Ice Path, but I caught the one from Ice Path. I think we saw someone run into a Tangle uh, right, right uh, where oh. you were sweet sunning, like just after. That was Gamer. He marked Tangle and I had no info yeah. on it. Yeah, that's that was yeah, game of straight after. Or just before. It might have been. Well, good thing I didn't lose to not getting the sweet send yeah. encounter slot on a route yeah, I checked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we actually We might be about done here. Yeah, that is Yeah, that's that's gonna be five for uh Well done. That is five Close. horses done. I was just about to comment on that. Alright. So congratulations nice. to Easton and Horse for both winning. <laughs> He's blowing up Discord saying the realm was evil. All right, we'll see if we can get uh, everyone in here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. While you talk to him, I'm going to mute my mic a moment. I'm going to get the uh, ROM out to the next uh, the next race. Sounds good. All right, so we'll see if we can get everyone in for a big group interview. See how everyone felt about that race. Yes. Also, every yeah, everyone runs no lax except we ran a victory roll. Starter. That's funny. I, I thought I would be a little different for running the Snorlax, and I considered running the Tauros until I saw it set. Yeah, it really had a bad move. So it was a bottle throw, basically. Where'd Horse go? I just saw him on here somewhere. He said he had mic issues. Oh. So, did the fucking oh, fart... The race sure got it. Okay. What? The fart had explosion. I couldn't catch it. Yeah. Well, did you not save in front of it? I didn't feel like resetting for it. Oh my god. <laughs> so... That, yeah. We had two people get first try burn and catch on it. Uh, one person with uh, it went boom on with no save, and then one person reset about five or six times, burn and catch. So, I didn't have to reset for it, but I had to fire punch it about four times to get it. Yeah. So I do have a couple of quick notes. First of all, congratulations, Civil. Uh, you have a strat named after you. <laughs> do I? <laughs> yeah, you, you are now the official fire breather guy. Hitting fire, hitting fire breather Bill is now officially civil strats. Or what? Yoshi strats. What was this in? Oh, yeah. In, in yeah, Indian yeah, Cave, because yeah. then you, mm -hmm. you got the Scyther information super early on. Which ended up not being useful. But yeah. so, it was bad locations. Yeah, I we, were, we were hyped when you hit it uh, to start with, because uh, no one else had Scyther information at that point. Yeah, I mean, I I had a lot of movement errors and a lot of extra encounters when I was playing this. So, Dude. I mean, that was just one of them. That was the beginning of it all. 
I wasted like 10 minutes in Dark Cave because I couldn't remember how to get to the black glasses. <laughs> I did flash strats, so I got to it easy. That was, yeah. I was commenting on that um, when you went into Dark Cave to get the black glasses. I was like, well, he's going to he's going through there. He doesn't have flash, but I guess he knows his way there. And then <laughs> you nope. started able to stop. Then I just taught flash to Kenya and I was good. <laughs> It was funny because um, I can I you was... pull horse in here? He's in general now. Eastern awesome. before I went in, horse, I thought, there he you is. Know, maybe I should get flash horse. first. Thank you. So let me see here. I don't actually have any notes for you either. Like I, I took notes for like I was trying to take, keep notes for everybody. I have civil and gamer, and they because they both did crazy stuff that happened. <laughs> Civil, so, um, Civil now has his own strat named after him. What did was I do? the only one that did Sprout Tower? No. I you were, Gamer was the only one that didn't do Sprout Tower. I didn't do Sprout hey. Tower fully <laughs> either, which was uh, a mistake, I think. Yeah. Oh, did you not? I thought... No. I, I went in there to get a couple levels, and I, after I got the Blissey XP, I went out and started uh, continuing. I, I went for Flash for the non-TM, non-damaging move. Yeah, yeah, I figured the Snorlax needed the EXP too, because it was slow and it, it was using Takedown as its only damaging move. Yeah, I ran a Weeping Bell, and it was so bad. What did everyone Oh, I found that. Why did you with? run that? It, it was uh, it was just a main. I literally found nothing. Like I found the Snorlax, but I didn't want to run it because it's so slow. I did uh, it for Hurric. Yeah, for I ran the Snorlax too, and as soon as I saw the berry juice flash on the card, I realized it was the one hidden item. I don't know where it. Well, I, the one hidden item in Elix Forest that I don't know the location of. Yeah, it's yeah. on the way to Headbutt. I saw Is Easton that... Market too, and I knew it was the hidden item, but I have no idea where they are. Fortunately, there was one in Ice Cave. Oh, was there? Nice. I looked. <laughs> I missed both of them then, because as soon as I saw the berry juice flip on, I was like, "I'm gonna have a, a huge issue here." And then it all kind of fell apart after that because I didn't know what to do. I got really Speaking lucky which... though. I was going to Lugia's room, and I found a Magmar in Meme Island. So I found a Magmar in um, Ice Path, as well as one other location, which I think was the route between. Um... Below, it was below uh, Ecratique. Yeah, below Ecratique. Mm -hmm. It was my only encounter on that route. <laughs> nice. So, which accuracy reducing move did you guys find? Because I found two really early. I found none. Yeah, I didn't find any either. Sand attack on the I very last thing I caught, basically. I found Mud Slap on a Pupitar, and that was the second one I found. I, I can't remember what the first one it was that I caught. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Storms? Uh, you had mud slap on something. Was it the Squirtle that had it? No, Squirtle didn't have it. I, I can check. I can't remember. Squirtle had dig. Oh, that's right. Squirtle was the dig, dig poke. And uh, was Crobat it? was the boom poke. <laughs> Crobat was my slave. It, Who yeah, was same. it? Crobat, it saved Crobat me. boomed on the last poke of the um, top uh, Sprout Tower. Tower. Yeah, it yeah, totally saved me there. That was good. That was funny. And oh, what else was I going to say? What did y'all pick as your starting Pokemon? I, I the took the Farfetch'd. I took the Weeping Bell. Bird. I took the Weeping Bell. <laughs> the Weeping Bell was bad. And but I, I found a bad. Paradox in Ilex Forest and called it Paradox. Yeah, Deli Bird. <laughs> I was tempted to catch the Dragonite I found in Ice Path to call it Medic, but it, I already had a Dragon type. I ran into a Roamer out of uh, Ecratik. Did, was it? I missed that actually. Yeah, I caught what it. Was it? it was an execute. Oh, I think okay. there was a wiggly tough or so, one, something on the card was a cry. I heard. I'm pretty sure. I couldn't remember what though. Maybe Lickitung or wiggly tough or Tangela. Don't know. Tangela was uh, west of uh, Ecrutique. And Ice Path. <laughs> I found Arbok and Ice Path that had teleport. Oh, so the Dunsparce had Mud Slap. That's what it was. Oh, did right. it? Oh, I, yeah. I encountered like two of them and didn't catch them. That's right. And I found had... Houndor on that route as well, and it had Teleport. Yeah, I actually used Teleport after I went to the Sotoado the first time. Okay, to go so... Back to Goldenrod. 
The only other thing on the first three routes that I found that could have been runnable was the Tauros, and the only move it had was Vital Throw, because yeah, it's it was, other it moves, awful. Crab I Hammer, the Baton too. Pass, Harden, and I wanted to run it after I first encountered it, but it was not good enough. Yeah, uh, we, were, we were super excited when we saw the Tauros, and then we were like, eh, that is probably the wor- one of the worst Tauros we've ever seen. I yes. also wanted to run the Espeon, but its only special move was Ember, and it had Belly Drum Pound, and I wasn't running that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we really was... we wanted to see you get to it learned moves at, uh, move at level 8, so we wanted to see it, uh, the light move, but I don't think anyone ended I think up the, having that. I think that the best part about this ROM was Snorlax learned Belly Drum on its own. Yeah, that was the <laughs> other thing. Gamer, you didn't teach Snorlax Belly Drum, dude. I didn't either. Uh, no. You didn't? I, no. Somebody, like, I, 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 I didn't need the power. Did, but I did. Civil I did. Belly drum. It, which I think was like, it was okay. It, it could have gone either way, I think, because Belly Drum ended up backfiring half the time because Belly Drum <laughs> takedown is stupid. Yeah. I, I, I just found that there was too many fighting moves in the ROM for me to no. warrant having my health during a fight. I yeah, the, the, um, the Typhlosion in uh the the 14 and slowpoke well all three of you Jeez, ran no. into a monster there yeah, I, I had to that like low kick it, it was terrible <laughs> now, i do actually have a question um of course what was your starter i picked the weeping weep about, about, right that yeah that's starter. right it was the weep about uh i meant to ask gamer who'd you start with did you start with the ducks i picked deli bird oh you picked the deli bird okay must have missed all right, because we were like, Horse, you got super lucky, dude. There was uh, Rival 3 had, like, Gamers Rival 3 had a Moltres with uh, Sacred Fire. Yeah, Stabs oh, God. Sacred Fire. That was fucking like, fun. And we're just like, what did he pick? What I got burned in Acroteek like seven times. At, l- at least that's after Surf. Doesn't. Help with Snorlax is physical. Yeah, well, I had, I had a victory belt by that point. So yeah, Snorlax, I think has, Snorlax has respectable special. I ran yeah. Surf and Fire Punch on it without an issue. Well, yeah, yes. I was I was considering swapping out Belly Drum for Surf, but I just said screw it. It's good enough coverage. Snorlax so, was ran in the race yesterday too, wasn't it? Yes. Yep. Yeah. So guys, Perk, so Real happy. Quick. If I can just jump in here verbally. We do have another race coming up. We're getting that set up right now. It's going to be Dulls versus Cave in 856. Uh, that should be getting going shortly. Um, oh, Got to turn my phone down. I have. <laughs> um, we also um, make sure you guys stick around for that. That should be another really good race. Uh, we also have coming up, pull the information again, uh, March 23rd through the 31st. The Randomania Randomizer Man. So make sure you guys check that out. Make sure to follow Randomania uh, and keep posted for more information on that marathon. Um, let me see here. Gamer, I had your information written down here about the Kadabra. Dude, the Kadabra was going to be so good because it had Mud Slap too. That was going to be. Two goals, and then the locations yeah. were terrible, and for it was the pseudo Udo. <laughs> <laughs> and then it boomed on you, so you couldn't get it. Oh, I yeah. Know. I had to use a sludge TM to even poison the pseudo Udo. And then I had to reset like five times. It was the worst. Yeah, that, that fur, it boomed on you a couple times. And actually, uh, Civil and Easton, we were shocked. You guys got the, the fire punch burns almost at the same time. You two were actually. Like, for not being in the same race, technically, we're neck and neck for so much of the mid-game. Like, yeah, you guys were high-fiving each other every five seconds. <laughs> Where was it I pulled ahead then? Because I don't think I did anything out of the ordinary. It was afterwards, after, anyway. It was, it was um, Yeah, it was after Fly. Like, you guys were, you guys were both in Chuck's gym at the Hmm. But yeah, I mean, like, pull ahead of me. For for uh, me, it was I pulled ahead of you at. Actually, you only got fly like uh, like seven or eight minutes before me, considering I had like ten goals over you at that point. So 
Yeah, it was rough. I kind of was just, I like repelled through like the entirety of the early game, and then you just got encounter after encounter on the card. <laughs> it was rough times. I found Wigglytuff on the um on the water beside Mystic Water, by the way. Oh, really? Yep. That's awesome. It was also the forty. All right, guys. I just fought it now. So they're they're telling me that uh they're ready to go with the uh looks like they're ready to go with the next race. So we're gonna go ahead and um we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. We're gonna throw this over to the next race now. Snorms is gonna be sticking around. Yeah. Uh, I believe Garf is joining you on commentary for that. He is. All right. So we're going to go ahead and jump out of here. Uh, best of luck to the runners coming up. And uh, Snorms, have a, have a nice uh, next 